Greetings. I wanted to talk to you about the season of Advent, which the church is entering into uh, this Sunday. Now, what does it mean? What's it all about? Why is it important? What does that word Advent even mean? Well, for starters, it's a, a Latin word, uh, Adventus, which means coming. It's a season that's four weeks long. It's the four Sundays before Christmas Eve. And it's actually the beginning of the church year for Christians. So what, right? Um, isn't it already the Christmas season? Well, the society is certainly celebrating that in full swing, but we in the church are preparing uh, for Christ to come. We're preparing for the first coming, uh, and, but we're also anticipating the second coming. So we're looking backward and also looking forward, all of it filled with hope and joy for the world. On that first Sunday of Advent, there's a reading from Jeremiah chapter 33, that talks on, about how the Lord was going to fulfill his promise, the promise that he made to the house of Israel and the house of Judah. How in that time he'll cause a righteous branch to spring up for David. And he'll execute justice and righteousness in the land. People are going to be saved. And we hear this name, uh, the Lord is our righteousness. It's just a, a, a piece of scripture filled with hope, uh, and but also longing. You know, there's a longing in the land, a longing in the world for righteousness, for judgment, uh, for justice. So Advent is, is relevant and important today because uh, we live in a world that's longing for all those things. And there are various things that happen to us that could be good or bad. We see pain and injustice uh, in the world. We might ask ourselves, why? Um, where's God in this? Is there a God at all? I'm convinced that's all the more reason why the church is called to a season of Advent. Because the rest of society is distracted. It's, it's caught up in the events of the world that are good or bad. It's uh, caught up and numbing ourselves uh, in an artificial uh, Christmas time of year, quote-unquote, that's actually devoid of and separated from what Christmas is all about and the reason for why we have Christmas. And so we're either caught up in all the pain and grief or we're numbing ourselves from it. The season of Advent gives us perspective. In a world filled with violence, death, and destruction, and, and, and lives that can be filled with heartache um, and despair, we cling to Jesus. We pray to Jesus. We don't allow ourselves to get distracted by the unfolding events of the world. We don't allow the things that are happening to us that may be bad to have the final say to define who we are. We know in Jesus Christ there's nothing to fear, no matter what. With that good news, our attention is not long, no longer inward, but it's outward. It's, we, we're allowed to pay attention to our neighbor in a different way. We might not just look superficially at the lights on their homes this time of year, but we might really pay attention to our neighbor and we might find our neighbors who are sitting in darkness, fear, and grief and wonder, how can I be a light to them? How can I point to the light that I know that is Jesus Christ? So it's important for this time of year to look at how Jesus entered into this world over 2,000 years ago and be praying with great hope and expectation of his coming again. Because it is a time and a gospel, good news, filled with hope and joy. Happy Advent.